Greetings and blessed be Luna, the Zen Witch, on your screen, talking to your ears with another Oracle unboxing, and this is another in the series of Lucy Cavendish decks, the Oracle of the Dragon Fae. This, in fact, is, well, it's the first of her decks that I have. I'm not sure how far back she goes, but um, it just says, by Lucy Cavendish, and then we have on the back here... Um, 43 cards, 164-page magical guidebook with some of the images. In the not-so-far-away past, we were gods and goddesses. We dwelt in dimensional lands, Eden, Avalon, East, Atlantis, and Mu. We were fully alive and fully magical. We worked, loved, and lived with all the elemental beings. But as time wore on, we were torn away from our strongest, most protective kin, the Dragon Fae. Now they are returning to help us heal ourselves and save this sacred planet. This deck is a dimensional portal to allow them to re-enter our realm and deliver their powerful messages of love, healing, and protection for a new generation of magical beings. Welcome to this journey through a world that has far, for too long been hidden from all but the most courageous of searchers and mystics. Within these pages and on each of these magical cards... You will be introduced to and given messages and wisdom from the boundless world of the Dragon Fae, a world which is now ready to be seen by your eyes and experienced by your heart. When we connect with the Dragon Fae, we reconnect with the lost parts of ourselves, allowing us to fully explore the gift of life on this beautiful planet. They help us to access knowledge from deep within and reconnect us with the knowingness that we are all one. Now, um, the... Shapeshifters and the Oracle of Shadows and Light that I've reviewed were published by uh, the like the Children's Division of Simon and Schuster. Um, I think it was like 2012 and 2016. I think this is. Um, I think this was 2008. I will go. Let's go inside. Look at this beautiful image. Oracle of the Dragon Fay, very goth and modern. And the backs of the cards are lovely. Give me a pentagram on the back of a deck. I am a happy witch. But before we look at the cards, I am going to go to the book first because there's something very uh, different about this deck. And that is, um, on the back of the book, we, it talks about Lucy Cavendish. But when you go to the back of the book to learn about the author and the artists, you find they're about the artist's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven artists, contributing artists to this deck. So Lucy Cavendish is the writer. The contributing artists are, God, all right, uh, Nicole Cadet, Selena Fennick, Debbie Lean, Kylie McDonough, Sharon McLeod, Michelle, Michelle Lee Phelan, and Tony Carmine Salerno, who has her own decks. Now, by the way, I can't remember. I know I have, I think I have one of hers. Maybe, maybe not. Um, is it her? Is she, no, Tony. T-O-N-I, but it's a guy. All right, so that threw me. I have all this time thought Tony Carmine Salerno was a woman. Because it's spelled T-O-N-I. So, but Tony is a man. So, there we go. Um, so that's what's really different about this deck. And you will certainly see as we go through the cards, um, the different very different feel of each artist and you decide whether how that makes you feel uh, Melusini love who you are the lady Grian open your heart the lovers love each other I'm already seeing a little story unfold here. Love who you are. Open your heart. Love each other. Let's see if it follows. Apalala, you are a peaceful being. Oh, look at the yin-yang. Lady Titania, the joyful. Grandmother Magics, I comfort you. She is very comforting. Doesn't look like a grandmother, though. The Time Guardian. You have time. Nimui. This looks like the same artist as the first card. And this is card number eight. So I'm wondering if we go through, like, you know, if they all take turns. Nimui, seek the Council of Crystals. 
Morgan Le Fay healing. Queen Una, a brilliant solution is on its way. Queen Mab, your ancient wisdom is awakening. Ain and the Guardian. Born innocent is the key phrase. The Lady Alfreda, justice will prevail. Now there's the same artist that did the image on the front clearly did that image. The Green Lady of Idragoch, Idragoch, chosen one. This looks like the same artist here. Look at the, um, can I have these clothes? Can I paint my face like that and have that heck and gown? Please, please, please. I love artists that pay attention to clothing enough that it makes me want their, the clothes. <laughs> the Dragon Fay Goddess Tiamat. Excuse me, I got fuzz. You are stronger than you think. Tiamat. Tiamat is also her name. Gwyn and Elish. Attunement. Elvish? Elvish? I guess it's Elvish. New Moon Fay, Soul Scrying. Tatsuya, Have Courage. The Wild Huntress, Face Your Shadow. It'd be easy to face if she's that awesome. There she is. There's beautiful detail that I wanted you to see. The Pendragon, pure male energy. Look at him. Ooh. He looks like a green man. Isn't that lovely? Look at the oak leaves. The Listener, sacred silence. Again, these beautiful face paint ideas. Mm -mm -mm. And headgear. I want that. I want all of it. The Morrigan, look at hers. Look at the feathers, huh? The Morrigan, take action. Isn't she just splendid? The lovers at the feast, conscious, aware, eating. Andel, emotional flow. Lady of the New Buds, Nurture Tenderness, Pelinor and the Lady Bittersweet Farewell, Cheng Wang, Be Light of Heart, Dristan, Look Beneath the Surface, Breed, we are one. You might want to say Bridget. It's Breed, we are one. Look at what she got on her dress. Yes, please. The Elder, heed wise counsel. What a beautiful Elder Dragon. The Dawn Watcher, bells will ring. Lady Luna's magic, synchronized with lunar time and energy. Hideki's door, a knock at the door. Okay. Oroki, boundaries, that certainly sounds Japanese. Chumara, web of all life. Look at the color. I could not handle having um, feathers glued to my face like that. I want to do some henna like she's got on her hand there. That's really something. But I, I, want, I just want to look like that. Please. Wu Wang, Wild Pure Heart. Ooh. Gaia's Dragon, Divine Union. The Sovereign Gentle Power. Look, just look at the clothes. Sweet. 
the blue lady, nothing is impossible. I like the way Lucy Cavendish draws from all cultures. The Guardians Fly High. Dragon Fay of Rebirth Whole Again. Dream Catcher Dreaming Your Wisdom. She doesn't look very Native American. Fernia Clarity. Oh. And we're back to Melusine. Okay. So I wanted to read in the back of the book here uh, because we have kind of like her other oracles. There's not a lot of uh, preamble in the beginning. There's an introduction. Um, shuffling and handling reading methodologies. Clearly this deck is uh, published for adult the adult market. The Triple Oracle, The Seeker's Question, The Se Seeker's Journey, About Being a Seeker, The Truth About the Dragon Fae. Dragon Fay Myths, Communicating with the Dragon Fay, Dragon Fay Bloodlines, Why Contact the Dragon Fay, Healing with the Dragon Fay, when, sh when Should I Call on Them, Signs the Dragon Fay Are With You, Lucy's Dragon Fay Story, Signs That You Are in the Presence of the Dragon Fay, A Note on Laughter, and then we get to the card interpretations. Um, okay, I want to read again about who Lucy is here. Um, I think it's the same thing on the back. Lucy Cavendish works magic every single day of her life, embracing it as a creed for personal fulfillment and happiness and as a belief system that sees us as part of nature and thus gives us all the motivation to respect and revere and delight in our unique experience here on planet Earth. Lucy is also the author of the Oracle Tarot, Okay, magical spell cards and white magic, all of which are published by Hay House. Now, this is published by Blue Angel. This is, um, like I said, I think 2008. Let me double check that. Blue Angel. Yes. Gallery Australia. Now, these, the, the shapeshifters and the shadows and light are published by Simon and Schuster. And then um, now they're mentioning things published by Hay House. So she's, that's three publishers at least here. Uh, but I need to check out those, the things that were mentioned. Apart from regular television and radio appearances, she has a, is a feature writer for Spellcraft Magazine Spheres and has appeared in a, anthologies like Disinformation's Pop Goes the Witch. In 1992, she created Witchcraft Magazine, which she edited for five years. She's a classic book witch and adores writing, reading, creating enchanted workshop experiences. Lucy Cavendish currently lives in Sydney. Sydney, she's Australian because, yeah, the, the publisher this is in Australia. And with her pixie-like daughter in the spirit of her beautiful Labradoodle dog. And then we've got all of the artists. So let's, let's pick one. I'm just going to shuffle like this loosely and then cut the deck. So um, just to give you one that we can look at how, how it's written and worked and words, words that aren't coming into my head nor out of my mouth. Okay, ready? <sighs> Give me a message for my viewers. We have Lady of the New Buds. And funny, um, I just finished uploading um, the Shadows and Light Oracle and I scheduled it for today. And then as I was looking at this deck, I thought I should put this one on Beltane so I am. So this one is showing up on Beltane. Happy Beltane. And the Lady of New Buds is showing up to talk to us on Beltane. Happy Blessed Beltane. I don't know. The day that I'm shooting this is um, a couple weeks out from Beltane. And uh, I don't know what kind of situation we're going to be in, which certainly I... I don't think the whole country is going to be opened up for business the way people have been quacking about. I just hope we're all still safe. Okay, Lady of the New Buds, Nurture Tenderness. So, um, like her two other decks, we have um, about the Lady of the New Buds, but this isn't the first section like it is in the other decks. And then we have the Lady of the New Buds speaks, like in her other decks, the card speaks, divinatory meanings. And then we have an extra little part here, working with the Lady of the New Buds. Um, 
and the art. And then we have the attribution of the artist. This is uh, Orchid Woman and the Bud Nurturers by Sharon McLeod. So it sounds like uh, this could have been artwork that was already done. Pelinor and the Lady Bittersweet Farewell. Did I say that one? I don't think we saw this one. I think this one got caught. Unless my brain is toast, which is entirely possible. Okay, I'm just wanting to look at the end of this. Yes, Art Kindred by Selena Fenix. So um, I'm, I, I'm getting the feeling that the artists already had these works and that maybe Lucy Cavendish went and chose them and then named them rather than saying, here's what I want in my deck and then, you know, giving those concepts to the artists to create. Um, and that would explain why a lot of different artists to make one deck. So let's go to The Lady of New Buds Speaks. See how my garden has grown about me. See how my children, the darling buds, clamor for my attention. They cry at night and can be so touchy during the day. I must shelter them from harshness and keep them in a safe place till they are strong enough to branch out. Even then, my watchful eye will look out for their care. You see, so many people see the beauty and do not understand where it sprang from, the rich, loamy soil. The sweet water poured from the water dragon fay into this earth, the minerals of the natural realms, the light of the sun, and the shining sweetness of the crystal moon have all anointed my garden with their blessings. And then there is me. So many see my garden and wonder at it, but they do not see the work and the care that has produced my preceded my domain. Its beauty is a result of love, care, natural growth, and attention. To each and every one of its inhabitants, when your growth appears around you, from the seeds you have planted, take time to tend this garden. Enlist the assistance of like-minded souls. Okay, it goes on. Let's look at the divinatory meanings. An affinity with flowers and gardens, proje projects needing tending, or projects need tending. Care every day for small matters, and the large will care for themselves. Resisting change is resisting the life force itself. Look at everything in nature. The seed does not remain a seed. The seedling grows. The tree seems unrelated to its origins, but at the moment, by holding on tight to the person you believe you must be, you are running the risk of denying your own life force. Change is positive. Stasis as a resting point can work well. As a life choice, it can be a kind of slow death. The emergence will come at the right time because the bud will be forced to flower at some stage. Do not allow yourself to wither in the bud. Divine guidance needs practical application and work. Action teamed with inspiration will create a beautiful, bountiful paradise. Work hard at what it is you love. And then working with the lady of the buds, new, new buds. Herb lore, flower readings, growing a new garden with magical and symbolic meaning, coming up with a daily routine to nurture and grow your new projects, flower essences, essential oils, accepting compliments for hard work, knowing your efforts have come to fruition, and accepting that you've been a driving force in a beautiful achievement. So um, I want to look real quick and see if we can get a Tony Carmine Salerno one, um, just so I can see... I, they're, they seem to be coming in clumps. Yeah, they seem to all sort of be the artist's work are clumped. Nope, that's a lie. Sorry. Ah, okay, Tony Carmine. Queen Una, card 10, is a Tony Carmine Salerno. And of course, now I have shuffled them. God, I can't fucking talk tonight. Um, I'm noticing, too, that we've got some different we've got these that have sort of a dark border and then there's all these that oh <laughs> it's because i'm a dipstick it's because that's the back of the hacking cart oh my god you know i'm doing this at the end of a longish day i did a lot of sewing today because i i lost some time sewing this week over some pretty fucked up drama that went on. Um, okay, so this is a Tony Carmine Salerno. So I'm kind of tired is what I'm trying to say. I guess my brain is telling me I ain't got nothing left to talk with. So anyway, good deck. Um, I, I really like all of Lucy Cavendish. I'm curious to see, um, because the ones that were made for the young audience really reached out to me with their messages, um, I didn't get that same kind of zap reading The Lady of New Buds as I did reading 
the other ones. Um, as you'll see in the Shadows of Light video when it comes up next week, that, that one was like making me weep <laughs> openly, practically. But anyhow, that's... Um, I bet you there's another video going up today. I bet you, because it's Beltane. But I could be wrong. I have to talk to my other me. The other me that isn't babbling her way through this video right now. Anyhow, another great Lucy Cavendish deck. Really great makeup ideas, good clothes, all that kind of stuff. Like and subscribe to my channel if you do like what I'm doing here. There's a click to donate button down in the description. If you feel like throwing me a buck or three, God, I would appreciate it because I'm not... I'm really not actively reading right now. I'm very internal. Well, I'm very focused on the channel and you guys. Um, so I'm not doing a lot that brings in money, except I'm going to start selling masks soon because I'm having to start buying materials. I have now made over 300 of them. And actually, when this airs on May 1st, it was two weeks ago more than two weeks ago that I hit the 300 mark. So anyhow, donate to me if you can. Hang out, hang in, be safe, and be healthy. And I will see you on Monday with another Tarot unboxing. And until then, I send you many good, good, bright spring blessings. This is Luna, the Zen Witch. Blessed be.